There's a lot of concern about feedbacks, feedback loops that we don't understand that could accelerate um, the pace of carbon change, uh, of climate change from what we've seen uh, uh, as we sort of look at it over the last few decades, that you start getting sort of feedbacks in the climate system that actually accelerate the pace of climate change. And so we could be seeing, you know, when we look at uh, some of the data we're getting back in terms of, uh, you know, ice melt and things like that, uh, we may be uh, seeing faster, uh, some of those things are happening faster than uh, many of the climate models actually anticipated they would happen. Um, you know, that said, we don't know. There's a lot of mm -hmm. feedbacks out here. Um, and uh, again, I want to stress not the certainty that uh, sort of climate change is going to sort of profoundly uh, sort of change and, and ultimately even threaten uh, human societies, uh, but that uh, but the uncertainty, all the things that we don't know. Um, and uh, I think one of the mistakes that um, uh, we've sort of fallen into is a sort of a trap of trying to sort of make this case that there's a consensus, that there's certainty, that there are going to be huge impacts decades out into the future. And the truth is there's huge uncertainties here, but that's actually the argument for action, not that anybody can mm -hmm with absolute certainty predict what the world's going to look like and what the climate's going to look like 50 or 70 or 100 years uh, hence.